right here is where you have the little vocal come in. So let me just see if I can keep putting this across. And I'm probably going to put like a little pad here that copies the background color as well on base and detail. And we can just move that straight down just as a nice little intro here. Uh, three, can go down 10. I'm going to put exponential in out on this one because it's a nice smooth movement. Sometimes ease out can be a little bit hard to read, but I think that just works really well. Um, and we could put a glow beam just to start off the level. Um, so the beginning isn't done. It's just an area that I wanted to have like a template for with like the chains and stuff. I think it's cool. Uh, we're going to put a beam like this, which is actually going to be on black blending first. So it's invisible. You see right here, you can't tell it's there. And then I'm going to put this on four, group four. Uh, don't fade, don't enter on T3, so it's above everything. And then we have pulse number four. We're going to put a 0.1 fade in just so it's not a complete burst. And then we'll just make a copy of the background. Uh, let me test which way is it hewing. Okay, pink is cool, but it's not very bright. So we're going to crank that up there. Maybe even using additive just to make it go like super bright. Yeah, because the multiplication, if it's super dark, you're not going to be able to get like the full range at the top, right? Um, for most of the time. I just like to use additive if I want something to be definitively bright. Um, so there is a little pulse right there. We're going to have to have some sort of climactic uh, change in the deco. 